what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, this video is in this video we are going to be creating some a set of floating buttons guys that will float above your screen someone actually asked me in the comments about this and uh, i learned this recently so i thought i'd rather make a short video about this and show it to you guys uh, so yeah let's get started guys uh, i have a blank app scaffolded here just the, that i scaffolded just now and uh, this is the default floating action button that comes with the default scaffold uh, what I'll do is I'll write a new function to design that particular uh, floating button. Okay, by floating button, I am uh, uh, what I'm trying to achieve here is, if you remember in uh, in this channel we did a video called stylish dialogues, right? I link that video below in the description section. Similarly, we are going to be making use of the dialogues in such a way that uh, wait, I'll show you. Void uh, show buttons. And uh, show dialog. I'll make use of this. And uh, sorry. And I'll return a stack from here. Okay. And uh, uh, alignment, alignment dot, alignment dot center, and uh, children container. Uh, I'll use a margin, margin edge inset dot all some 10 maybe okay and uh, i'm saying i'll have a child inside this i'll have a column uh, column inside this column is where i'm going to be having the set of buttons cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot center and uh, i'll uh, uh, ensure that the or wait i'll just give main axis alignment as main axis alignment dot center once again fine children mm. once again i'll have a container this container will contain a button okay a raised button so i can give this container a height right and inside that container i can simply place the uh, button or i can simply wait i'll do that height some 55 units 50 units 50 units and a uh, child raised button why am i wrapping this inside a container i can just go ahead and raise the button uh, color will be color start blue sorry color start blue and uh, mm, on pressed obviously i'll have it as empty for now and uh, text color would be colors dot white and child would be uh, center child would be text uh, here i can simply use uh, floating button maybe floating button okay and uh, I can give a shape to this particular button. So shape, uh, rounded, rectangular, border, uh, border radius would be border so that I can get that rounded edge. Border radius dot circular something fine. And uh, yeah, that's about it, right? Let's save this. Uh, this won't look on our mobile way since we need to give this here show buttons sorry i just added three show buttons right yeah save this let's see how this looks on our mobile device all right guys now we can see our app on the screen right let's try tapping on the floating action button wow you get a nice looking button that appears to float on the uh, screen right you can see this right it appears to float on the screen if you just you can obviously uh, adjust the position of that button using this main axis element if i give it as end watch what happens see it appears in the bottom right floating action button as you can see here so yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys today if I wait, I'll show you some other cool stuff. We'll add a couple more buttons like this. 
fine i have added a couple of more buttons and then added some padding for those buttons as well let's see how those look on the device now cool right now you can see that uh, we have three buttons floating on the screen uh, tapping on which you can obviously do some action if you uh, write some code inside on pressed right say for instance this is simple guys i'm just show demonstrating what could be done this is nothing but once again this is nothing but a dialog i am using the show dialog to show this particular uh, stack uh, and this stack contains these three buttons right and obviously i can reduce or increase the height of these buttons by wrapping these buttons inside a container and then uh, specifying a height for that particular container then it will look as if the buttons are big or small right so if you tap now uh, you can see all these three uh, buttons and if i tap on green button it should print green that it doesn't print green because i haven't saved this i'll save this it will automatically hot reload and now if i tap on this button and tap on the green button it should print green right so yeah we have a set of working buttons that are floating above our screen and this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys in this video so yeah guys uh, this is a simple video a rather simple one you might have already known this uh, some of you guys uh, might have already uh, knew about this so yeah this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys kindly hit the thumbs up button if you really like this video if you like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button okay uh, subscribe to this to this channel and click on the bell notifications icon so that you receive notifications each and every time i upload a new video and you wouldn't miss out on any of my content right just subscribe to this channel guys okay it's free and just uh, you know hit the thumbs up button i'll uh, talk to you guys in my next video bye